Hey, hey. Spring Lafay, Simply Tarot. Okay, Aquarius, this is a reading for you. We're just going to see what we get. There's a bit of a lighter feel today, so yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay, we've got the Eight of Pentacles here. So you're working very hard on something. And I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like your work will pay off. Now, you're going to get, um, I do feel like you're going to go through a dip. So, you know, it may take a little bit longer than you expect. But once you go through that dip, you keep working. Don't let up. Don't let up. Even if you think it's not going, you know, it's not going where you want it to go. Because it, it, the hard work will pay off. It's going to pay off in the long run, it feels like. Okay, you got the Knight of Swords. Um, you're going to have some communication come towards you that's very truthful. Um, this is something, though, that you may not quite want to hear. You got the Page of Swords as well. Um, it's something that, you know, it could be very painful. Um, I feel like that um, someone's really going to hurt your feelings and you're going to feel stabbed in the back. But at the same time, I feel like this is protection uh, from someone, because we have the Knight of Wands here. This is protection from someone who, um, you may feel like they play with your emotions, you know, that type of energy. You know, it's like they come in and out. You know, but, but I'm going to be honest, by this, this coming to a close... You need to get your closure because something better is on the way. It's got that feeling to it. Um, you know, if, if this is a, a family situation, a job, or something romantic, something better is coming your way. Uh, you're taking on the King of Swords energy. And, um, you know, you've, you're in a lot of thought right now. <laughs> and, you know, thought can be very powerful. It can go either way. I want to look if this is romantic. You know, if you're wanting romance. If you're wanting romance. Let's say it that way. For those of you wanting romance. Okay. Hey, looky there. You got wedding. And you got you deserve love. Okay. So, this tells me, you know, this situation involves a marriage. So, possibly this person is involved already and maybe you didn't know that or maybe you know you've been having a crush on someone and they've been involved with someone the whole time and you didn't realize it you do deserve love you are lovable and i feel like that um you know it's coming that soulmate energy is coming but you need to keep an open mind because your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations but this can be true love that's for those of you wanting love now you need to let go of whatever you know is going on here because it can just hold you back it can just hold you back and you don't want it to do that um, because that'll keep you from going towards what you truly desire in life now um tell me more Okay, you feel like you're carrying a lot of baggage, you know, a lot of um, heavy lifting going on here. And I feel like that, you know, you have love for yourself. That's got to do with you. You're going to be, um, it feels like moving away from this place of feeling so burdened. You know, you give to yourself, you give love to yourself. I feel like you've been drinking out of your own cup. You know, you're, you're doing your you. And you're moving away from a place where you've been so burdened. But you have to keep working towards what you've been working towards. You need to really do that. But keep a balance. Keep a healthy balance with the Two of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep a healthy balance. See, <laughs> Princess of Swords. Do you see how she's bending? Um, you know, I want to say bending the light. But it, bending the sword and the light goes with it. Um, I feel like that this has really got to do with how you can handle things. You know, this is lessons you're learning that help you going forward in your life. And um, you're on the right path. You're on the right path. So don't, don't you know, get, get too hard on yourself and don't limit yourself and don't feel like, oh, no, it's not. It's some, you know, good things take time sometimes. And, you know, when something's meant, you have to allow it to just, you know, 
do its thing and, and be when it's supposed to. You can't force it. I want to take you some angel messages. Um, I haven't taken, taken any in a while, so I want to do that. I really want to do that. Whoop. Let me grab that. Phone fill over there. Okay, this is the um, Talking to Heaven. So this is a message from someone who has passed on. Um, yeah, and these readings aren't going to be for everyone, so if it's not for you, you know, just, just leave it. And the length of the readings is however I feel to go with it. I mean, you know, when you feel like it's done, it's done. Okay, can I have that message um, from Beyond for Aquarius? They give me several. So, this could be for several different people. Okay. First, we have, we are so connected. So, your past loved one wants you to know that they are connected to you. That's, you know, you may feel them. That's why you feel them so close. They're connected. And then we have, there is no time where I am. Time is only on earth. You see that? Wow, that's beautiful. I am here helping you. So, you know, this could be, this. these messages could be for everyone. They could be for someone. They could be separated out for someone. But this one is someone who has passed is letting you know that, you know, they're, they're there helping you. They're right there with you. Even if you don't, you know, feel it. Um, and sometimes you may feel it. And, um... It's it's your person, you know, that has passed. I want to get I want to get three of these to go with each card. One four. We are so connected. I got an R. So, an R may be in their name. It may be in your name. It may be in an important word to this person. You know, it could be something they loved. Maybe they loved going to the river. You know, uh, maybe they uh, loved. Picking up rocks. Okay, now, for there is no time where I am. Time is only on earth. And we got L. So, you know, that could be an initial in their name. It could be an initial in your name. It could be an initial of something special to them. It could be their way of telling you they love you. Okay. I am here helping you. We have got a G. So that could be an initial in their name, like I said, or, um, you know, it could be something special, an initial for something special to this person. Very well could be. Okay, let's get you some more messages. I want to get an angel message for Aquarius. We have got Rochelle. As you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. Wow. So you need to honor your heart. This is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's get you a spirit animal card. Oh, we got the otter spirit, number 42. You are never alone. That's a beautiful card to get. Okay, which other card am I, which other cards am I feeling? The butterfly card. End of an era. So something may be ending, you know, a time, a way of being. You know, if you've had it rough, it may be time for that to end. You know, time to, things to change up. So this is what I've got for you. If you don't mind, please do share out the readings. It, it helps the channel to grow. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, give the readings a thumbs up if you like them. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Much light and love. Bye.